Hello everybody, it's Coach K with MajorToKorea.org. I hope that your summer is off to a great start and that wherever you are, you're enjoying the beautiful weather and welcome to my channel. I decided to start this YouTube channel as a way to connect with young professionals who are really struggling making those connections between their major to career. In each and every video, I bring my over 13 years of higher education institution from four different institutions, including a STEM institution, to help you strategize for success. Today, we're going to talk about the differences between a resume and a CV. If you are interested in this information, stay tuned. So folks, over the years as I work with young professionals and also seasoned professionals, one of the key questions I often receive is, what is the difference between a resume and a CV or the curriculum vitae? And the whole discussion comes usually when students find out that they actually have to submit a one page document. And so there's often this discussion and confusion about, you know, why, why can I not submit more than one page, which is traditionally what the CV is, though there are some resumes that are more than one page. But traditionally, the documents in terms of recruiting are identified into two main areas. So you've got your one page resume and then you have your curriculum vitae, which allows you to add as many pages as possible. So let's get right to it. The biggest difference is, and I'll start with the resume first. The resume is a one page document, really, really popular in the United States, more so than in other countries. And the reason is because in the United States, we have a standard application systems where employers are getting a huge number of these resumes at once. They wanna review and identify who they can talk to to be able to get even more information. So a lot of people think that because you only have one page that the information is getting lost. It is not. The intention is to really knock the door and get you to have that conversation so that you can share everything that you have. And so you need to highlight key areas, make sure that it's one page, make sure that it's employer ready, and I think you'll be good to go with that document. Flipping sides, the curriculum vitae is where you are actually permitted to submit as much information as possible. And when it comes to the CV, multiple pages are fine. In fact, in some countries, with the CV, you can actually add a picture, you can uh, share some information about your family. So different cultures, different walks of life, they have different parameters when it comes to what is acceptable. And so depending on the market that you're applying to, be sure to check in with your advisor to see what's acceptable. In the United States, a CV is multiple pages, sometimes anywhere from three to 10 pages. And typically it includes your publications. It includes everything you've ever done throughout your career. It also includes your interests as well. And these are usually primarily used for positions, particularly within higher education, faculty uh, positions where you're going to be giving of yourself, particularly in a tenure track position, even in non some non-tenure track options, they will require you to produce a CV. And so most people will use it interchangeably. They will say they want a resume or a CV. So if you're given the choice, I think it's appropriate for you to submit whichever document you feel will suit you best. But in most cases, if they do say a resume, they are really referring to the one page document. Folks, I hope that information is useful. Let me know in the comments if you found this information useful as you're kind of contemplating the differences between a resume and a CV. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. I do intend to grow this channel, so if you like content like this, please let me know, like this video. But stay tuned, because I'm gonna cover lots of information about internships, externships, post-grad options, masters, undergrad, high school diploma, you name it. This will be your academic one-stop shop to be able to learn about all your options and be able to maximize your education and have the return on investment. Thank you for watching. Until my next video, bye.